All right, I'm about to sit y'all right here. Hopefully you can hear me and no ants interrupt the vibes. We have some people working in the house today, so I'm trying to still be in the vibe, but I wanted to come to you with a couple of um, things that I am extremely passionate about because I work really well with fire and um, a lot of people are always asking me to speak more, record more, a lot, a lot more. So I'm just actively attempting to talk a little bit more, but trying to find a space that allows me to speak as freely as I want to because we already know how that works. You got big brother over my shoulder like, ma'am, you got one strike left. So instead of being silenced, I'm just gonna simply find a new platform. But on with it we go. So today's topic is surrounded by candles and candle magic. And I'm a really big advocate for that. I'm not going to go too much into detail. This is strictly about the suit and what it looks like when some candles burn. Now I have three candles here. Um, there are three different colors. We have red, green, and black. I had burned them when I first came here to the South, usually just because I've been on some travels and sometimes different energies may come along with me. And as you can see, each candle burns differently. Now, people who are looking at this candle and know what these things mean already know the vibes. So I'm just gonna give you my personal interpretation of what these candles these are like vigil candles you'll often see them again attacked by the south bugs um these like on grave sites um rest in peace sites you know different things of that nature so as you can see here each candle has a different type of burn you can see that this one here which is like my fave um has layers and this is the first time i had like an actual layer of burn um and to me all that means is it reminds me of a tree like when you're cutting a tree you can actually see that the tree has lines every line is to said to represent x years don't quote me but usually you can tell that a tree has been surviving for X years by its rings if you happen to like cut it in half. Um, we had a tree that fell in our yard um, down in the country and um, when the treatment came to chop it up, one of the pieces you could see like the ring. So I took that and put it on my altar. This one here, as you can see, it has a little bit of suit that is black on the top. Most people know this is like usually like a love candle. Red is love. I equate it to self-love um, and all of that good jazzy jazzy. Now this black candle, fuck everybody who was trying to do some juju on me because I hope you know that my ancestors always win and I'm not somebody that you should be playing with but um this wick for instance i had did a prayer and i had prayed for x you know over my life and as soon as i lit this this wick was so powerful on this black candle and most people logically would equate this suit to the very high flame like the candle was probably like right here and the flame was like at the top to the point where the smoke was like actively coming out of it. And I was like, okay, nah, this is, <laughs> I can't go to sleep like this. Like this is one of those moments where I had to take a rational point. You know what I mean? Like, do I keep it lit up overnight with this high ass flame or do I blow it out? Well, actively put it out the correct way and restart it again so as you can see this candle here when it has a dark top like this when they call it suit s-o-o-t when it's dark like this all around you have to really think about what that could mean so immediately it means that the spell it was working 
but there was some really powerful forces behind this energy because of the simple fact that I may have had some black magic done to me unbeknownst to me in the past x months because I haven't been able to actively be in front of like or provide myself with this type of protection so my ancestors obviously had some serious fucking work that's damn near half the candle you know where they had to put some mega force into fighting whatever it is that came up against me and obviously we won because you could see the bottom while there were some challenges but this thing was one you know what i mean and you can see the layers of the burning so what this also means which is reminiscent to this candle um you could see that there are like layers like a tree so this one specifically because it was pretty good um the suit being like the wax being still kind of on the bottom lets me know that there may be some type of challenge but i'll also receive the blessings that i had put out within x years x days x months x weeks who knows that's the luxury of being in this industry you really don't it's just the energy that you put out to the universe and you pray that it comes back to you so these are like lines of a tree you just add them up and usually that's how many you know weeks months days that that blessing will come out but as you can see this one burned relatively clean so that means that this would be a success this would happen automatically or um pretty effectively you know with limited distractions or issues or blah 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 blah, blah. now this one here we could see at the top it does carry some like black suit at the top it's not much it burned really really well um, at the bottom, though, it may mean that what I was hoping for or intended may come, may not come, because there's still so much of the wax here at the front, although it burned all the way through. Does that make sense? You could see that. And at first, there was some objection because there is some black hair but it's very very light it's very sparingly it's not like somebody was um intentionally trying to block this love spell usually i'll do love spells for myself um when i'm trying to embark on like self-love journey i'm really not that person to like oh my god i want this man so let me create a love spell no I don't even cater to that even when I was in a relationship when I'm not in a re I don't cater to that I'm not into binding someone's energy to mine because more than likely whatever you did to bring that person in is almost always how you'll either lose that person or that person will not be attracted to you so I'm not really like a love spell kind of person if I'm doing a love spell it's on myself so right now i recently um just transitioned into a new phase of my life um and i'm in year nine month 10 of being an entrepreneur my first book um was released in 2013 and i started my llc that february of 2013 so right now we're embarking on you know some beautiful phases and I just want to be a completely new person a completely new energy um and just kind of start anew so I'm happy with who I am becoming but sometimes that energy comes with new territories and new um walks of life that I've never been exposed to so this love candle is what I'm preparing for basically be able to ascend to 5d because 5d is all about love 5d is about nothing else but love and people who are still operating from anger and being upset and you know that negative energy these things will not work for you i'll say one more thing about these candles um anytime i want my candles to work for me i usually empty them out in a garbage that is not my own I wrap them in a plastic bag, 
individually um and i dumped them in a the garbage that is not my own don't ask me why or where the hell i got it from i just know that if i'm living under said roof that i'm also conducting the magic under i don't believe that it would work because it's in my own trash it's just like regular trash you know what i mean and that's not what i'm trying to do so um i've dumped out things at starbucks <laughs> you know in the morning i've dumped out things um at the dumpsters at work because i know they're coming every day you know just like i've dumped out the trash that is not my own i don't dump it in like family members or anything like that because it's still connected it's literally someplace completely different um and just know that's usually how the blessings take place so that's really all i have surrounding this um again i'm not an expert on this this is just my keen personal interpretation um this one i've never had a can i've burned tons and tons of candles i've been burning candles actively since 2018 it's like my jam i'm not obsessed with it people do it every single day um i think it's always healthy to have a white candle burning especially if you're into altar work um find out what it is that your ancestors were actively um really good at and see how these candles can work for you um find out what candle you're trying to or what spell you're trying to manifest and make sure that that color corresponds with that um candle color so black you know sometimes can also be like a road opener but also something that's for protection and also another that's meant for um getting rid of spells so like i said people be trying to work and they don't realize who people are and that's why again i say it's so important to know where you are from so that you know where you are headed because a lot of people have no idea about what it means to truly be me but yet they will try to do anything in their power to try to dismiss me but one thing about spiritual people and one thing about people who are like me who don't actively practice other forms of magic is that if i dare ever try to you're in for it my name so stay away <laughs> all right y'all peace out check out the website dtimes2.com peace